Hello again, Commander Exegius here. Let's take a look at one of the best and most important third-party apps for Elite Dangerous, ED Engineer. In short, if you're doing engineering and you're not using ED Engineer to plan your work, you're doing it wrong. Let's look at how to put this amazing tool to work for us. First, grab the download from the description below and get it installed. Installation is easy and the app will automatically update itself on every launch, one of its rather nice features. When you first launch ED Engineer, the interface will be locked into an overlay mode, and while you may choose to use this later, I suggest clicking Unlock Window in the bottom left-hand corner so we can more easily move it around. Now, let's have a look around the interface. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see any Commander profiles that are installed on your machine. You'll see my primary and alt accounts listed here. Below that, we have several options. First, the ability to filter your data and materials based on stock levels. I suggest leaving this set to show everything so nothing gets lost. Next is to show materials and data that are used by blueprints you favorited. This can be nice to help you determine what you really care about, but given we can store quite a lot in our ships, I generally don't use this. After that, we see the information tool that will give you an idea of where you can find various items. While this can be somewhat useful, I tend to leave this off so that the interface is less cluttered, as it doesn't really give you enough information on where to find things. Grouping ingredients lets you categorize the various items in the way the material traders handle them. This used with the final option, Sort, can let you see what materials are the most important, helping you later if you choose to trade for various items. Now, let's take a look at the right panel, where we'll be doing most of our work. We have six filters across the top, giving us the ability to filter the potentially huge list of blueprints available. You can filter by grade, engineer, module type, ignored or favorited, craftable, and finally the ability to search. You'll also see a bar below these boxes to filter by module, synthesis, experimental, technology, and unlock. To get started, I suggest filtering the list by engineer, going one by one through each engineer you have unlocked. For this tutorial, we'll start with Felicity Farseer, as that's generally the first engineer you'll unlock. Filter by clicking Engineer Filter, click All to unselect everything, then click on Felicity Farseer. You'll now see a list of all blueprints she offers. Let's now filter the list by type so we can see each module she works with one by one. Let's untick all the boxes saved for module to make the list more manageable. Scrolling through the list, we're going to favorite any module and grade we may want to engineer in the future. For this tutorial, we'll favorite dirty drive thrusters and increased range frameshift drives, clicking the favorite icon next to each blueprint and grade. When you work with the tool, I suggest favoriting every blueprint for every engineer you may possibly want one by one. While this will take a bit up front, it will help us in the future. Now let's favorite the experimental effects we may want to add to our modules. Untick module and tick experimental above. Just as we favorited the blueprints we wanted, let's favorite the experimental effects we may want to use in the future. Now that we've favored some blueprints, let's filter to only show those favorites by clicking Ignored and Favorite Filter and choosing only Favorited and Shopping List, also ticking Modules again. Now that we have a more manageable list, let's filter it further by limiting only frameshift drives. This is done by clicking the Type Filter, clicking All to clear everything, then clicking Frameshift Drives. Now let's add the amount of roles we'd like for this module to our shopping list. To do this, click on each grade, one by one, to expand them and click Shopping List in the bottom right corner. We'll want to add each roll to our list the number of times we'd like to roll it. I suggest you always add the following so there are never any surprises when you reach the engineer. Grade 1 through 4, 3 times, and grade 5, 9 times, with the experimental effect once. While there will be times you'll need less rolls, you will never need more than these, and we'll be sure you always have enough materials to max out the module you're working with. Now we see the beauty of ED Engineer, its ability to properly count everything you'll need, doubling materials and data as necessary when multiple grades or blueprints use the same materials. While tools like Inara can show you what you can do for individual blueprints, this feature is key to ensure you're never surprised when you go to upgrade your modules. I suggest you go through each engineer you have unlocked one by one, repeating these steps to favor each blueprint you want to use in the future. This will make filtering the huge amount of options easier, streamlining the process of creating your shopping lists. In a future tutorial, we'll look at the best practices to use when gathering these materials, from binding them to using material traders. Hopefully this tutorial and ED Engineer will help with one of the hardest aspects of engineering, determining what you need to gather and will put you well on your way to having a fully upgraded starship. 
Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching.